Yep, I'm the office bookie. How did I become the office bookie? Simple. We didn't have an office pool for March Madness. I stepped in, started running it, and really enjoyed it. Been doing it ever since. Now we got pools for just about anything and everything. We got celebrity death pools, Oscar pools. Obviously, March Madness is a big one. The boss, he's cool with it. He's the one who gave me the title of director of office around. He didn't really like people calling me the office book, and so he came up with something a little fancier, a little, a little less obvious. He doesn't always like how much time I spend doing research and messing around, looking up stuff and, and doing the pools, but he understands. And yeah, I'm not always fair. We live in a gray area. You know, we've got to make sure the boss is happy. Got you know, there's people you like. You'd rather see them win than other people. People you don't get along with. So you knock them down a little bit. It's a gray area. I mean, but for the most part, I'm fair. I usually don't win, so that I can tell you how fair I am. Otherwise, I win all the time. But you gotta make sure that you're mostly fair so people will come back and keep playing. I do take a little bit off the top, and it also gives myself some free entries. I mean, it's kind of, kind of, it's the perks of being the office book. Uh, I'd have a guy one rule you, know, you don't pay, you don't play. Cash only, that way it's a, I can keep track of it. Also, I can lose a little bit of it in my pocket. The problem with cash is some people try to get by me, tell me they paid. Or, or one guy even tried to give me a fake $10 bill. Come on, you don't think I'm going to catch that? Who tends to win? It's usually the people you wouldn't expect. It. The tough guys usually end up winning the, the celebrity stuff. The secretaries tend to win the, you know, the sporting ones. It's, it's amazing. It's, I don't get it. You want my, I just told you I don't win, so I don't know why you want my advice, but I'll tell you from March Madness. Don't pick your alma mater. Unless you went to Kansas or Duke or someplace like that, odds are your school's not going to win. I take that back. No, go for it. Gonzaga definitely is going to go all the way this year. You write that down, and I'll, I'll take all that money to the net. Weirdest thing I've seen definitely is uh, pick the team that's loose. A couple rounds later, all of a sudden they magically reappear. I'm not sure where to go. Happens every year. Payouts. You gotta pay people out, that's the tough part of it, but you know, like I said, you gotta you gotta keep people coming back, so you gotta make sure they sure they get their payout, keep them happy, keep people wanting to come back. Best of luck in your March Madness pool.